Yo, what's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, as well as your coach of the Austin Agrons. Getting ready to do a team prep video for Daniel, aka Swagging Swallow, and the Carolina Kyogres. If you guys are ready for this team prep video and you're excited for the PUBL battle that's going to be coming up, I don't even know how soon, then go ahead and show your love, show your support, leave that like down below one good time for the video because Channel 4 is brought to you in part by the love and support of the professional gyms that you guys are. So, uh, I did some research on on uh, the Kyogres and went over their week one battle video. Um, this is actually, we're actually going to be going into uh, week three, I'm guessing, because I had my battle with uh, Venom, which was week one. I was supposed to have my next battle with King Bub, I believe, and I was I was out for uh, Euphoria Music Festival, and I had to I had to take the L and miss that battle, which sucks. So we're now two and zero or zero and two with the losses, and hopefully this week is going to be a good week for the Agrons, and we're gonna we're gonna pull a victory out of our big iron rabbit hole butts somehow so i went over his i went over uh uh daniel's team last uh from last week and he ran riperior toxicroak executor starmie blaziken and megalodios um some things that were really interesting about the sets that he ran is that he ran calm starmie and bold uh citrus berry harvest executor which that that's a threat I didn't even know. Like, I like using Executor, but I never thought of running it bold is, is my main thing, is running it defensive rather than offensive. Um, but I guess that's what you do with a Harvest uh, ability set. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into our new team here. I don't even know the format yet. I'm just gonna start adding Pokemon. I have our sticky note up of what the, what, uh, Swellow has to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be bouncing between saying Swellow and Daniel this whole video, and even in in our battle, I'm sure. So, uh, Daniel has Megalodios, Blaziken, Starmie, Togekiss. I'm not even gonna read these guys out. You can pause the video if you really want to know. Um, my main threats on this team are Blaziken and. I honestly want to say Hoopa, Toxicroak, Gliscor is a problem. Gliscor is a problem, but we do have Mons to to deal with it. We don't. We actually, if we the the main thing is obviously this is going to be a poison heal Gliscor if he decides to bring it. So the goal is going to be to bring someone that can inflict some kind of status on it or hit it hard enough on, on the special attack side to uh, make sure that he can't protect, heal, protect, heal, roost, protect, heal. See, like that's that's going to that's gonna get really annoying. It's going to get really annoying really fast. Um, we can use Giratina, Will-O-Wisp. We can use Heatran, Will-O-Wisp, I believe. Uh, Heatran gets access to that we can scarf I was thinking we can scarf Nidoking and obviously give it ice beam for a lot of the coverage looks like ice uh, is a common weakness for most of his mons water and ice and looks like I would say rock because he's got the Articuno and Togekiss Noivern um, Aurorus, Swallow. Rock does put a hole in his team as well, so it's fighting. Um, but he has Blaziken. I mean, not Blaziken. He has Starmie to cover that. Togekiss, Megalodios. Um, ugh. Ugh. In bringing. You know what? Why don't we? Why don't we bring Skarmory? And. Skarmory, Sturdy, Leftovers. Actually, we'll do Rocky Helmet. I want to do Rocky Helmet to get some of that chip damage off. We're going to go Brave Bird uh, because Stab. Uh, I was actually, one of my friends, Swoon, was uh, asking me which I would prefer to use, Brave Bird or Iron Head on Skarmory. I like that flinch chance in Iron Head, but, um, but with Brave Bird, you can at least 
you can probably take a flare blitz from let's say a blaziken and get that rocky helmet damage off and get that stab super effective damage off stuff like that is what i keep in mind and it's more damage um the recoil does suck but i mean looking looking at his team let's look at his team one more time i i wouldn't be able to iron head half of his team uh toxic croak starmie togekiss glyscore uh blaziken crocodile um wait is steel neutral steel is uh, ground is ground resists steel i believe but either way like there's gonna be there's gonna be a nice handful of mons that are going to appreciate an iron head as opposed to not appreciating the brave bird so let's definitely use that um, I also want to look back at my mon, see if I have a rapid spinner, which I do not, and it sucks because our only uh, option is defog. So we'll we'll defog unless I have another idea. I have another. I have another idea. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not completely out of ideas. We'll do stealth rocks and roost for recovery options, and. This is actually a nice, this is a nice set right here. Uh, running an Impish with uh, 412 physical defense. That's very nice, it's very, very nice. Um, we got a little bit of speed just to, what's its base speed, 70? So it'll, it'll be able to outspeed anything that doesn't really have any speed investment uh, with 70 at base speed or below, which, Against his team, I don't even want to. I don't even care about speed. I would rather put that into attack. I'd rather put that into attack, to be honest, just to get that that extra damage off. So we got Star Scream here. And I, I did a, a terrible job at nicknaming Armand's uh, last go around, um, but we got Star Scream. I'm thinking since we have Skarmory, who's weak against. Uh, 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 fire types. I want to bring Heatran, and I say Heatran because you know what? If I bring Heatran, I should put heat uh, rocks on on that instead. Oh well, we do have Fortress, but I'm not even considering Fortress in this matchup just because of Blaziken. Blaziken is a scary, scary, scary threat. But you know what? He doesn't. Ooh, this is a tough decision. And he doesn't have any poison types. So we could go for it. We could, we could try doing toxic spikes. But you know what? If I'm gonna be picking something with Will-O-Wisp, why don't I let me let's let's see if let's see if Heatran let's see if Heatran No we can't we can't use Heatran to soak up Blaze Against Attacks because if he's gonna predict me to if he's if I'm out on Starscream or Verizian um, or any other Pokemon that he can just easily flare blitz and I have Heatran on my team, he could easily just click low click low kick instead. Predicting me to switch into the Flare Blitz for the Flash Fire. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we put in Giratina? Because why don't we use the Great Wall? Uh, this is and actually Giratina is like Giratina is like my god. Basically, Giratina is like I don't even know what to name you. Um, Kami, Kami you. We'll, we'll make you shiny. Uh, leftovers. It gets its dream world ability is or hidden ability is telepathy. Damn. I mean that's that's good for doubles of VGC and shit, but that's a stupid ability. Um, we'll give it Will O Wisp for the Gliscor. And I'm gonna actually look up a common set. Let's see some common sets. God damn it! I hit control again. I need to. I need to change my hotkeys on Camtasia because I hit control A or something, 
and that ended the recording, which, eh, it's gonna be annoying for editing. So Smogun, uh, Giratina, let's just see what, what they have to, let's see what, what they have to say. I don't want Origin, I want Giratina. So will this for Toxic, we're not doing Toxic. Let's do Dragon Tail for Stab, which, uh, we could probably do Shadow Ball for the, I'm getting a phone call. Um, Shadow Ball for the Latios. And I'm seeing Rest Talk on here. I don't like Rest Talk. I don't like Sleep. And what should our last move be? Are we? Are we crazy enough? I was gonna say we could run Calm Mind. You know what, why don't we, oh, it gets Tailwind. It gets Tailwind. What the fuck? Let me hit, let me, I'm gonna do Substitute. And this is gonna be a gentle, uh, a gentle wall indeed. A very, very gentle wall with a whopping 503 attack. I mean, HP set. And I'm not, I don't have any issues with the attack, special attack. Well, actually, let's, let's take a look. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna base this just around the, the Mega Latios. Uh, Latios, Latios. It's, it's. Oh, you, okay. Adios, adios. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, that's actually the best bet. It's got lower uh, physical defense, so we can we can leave that as is. That's that's fine. And let me just, let's just double check his team. His only normal type is going to be are going to be Furt and Swellow, which if he he has no reason not to bring Swellow. He actually has no reason not to bring Swellow. Because Scrappy. He could either make it Guts or Scrappy. But the best part is, if he's, if he's Scrappy, then we can Willow us burn him without any, without worrying about any boosts. If he's Guts, yes, we'll, we can, he'll probably carry Flame Orb or Toxic Orb uh, for for us and just inflict the status on himself for us and we won't have to worry about quick attacks boom bursts uh, what else probably brave bird but that's why we have starscream starscream can can take these hits yeah that's why we have starscream instead of fortress because brave bird would be neutral damage so yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not too worried about that i'm not too worried i'm pretty confident in, in that defensive core right there so, looking back at our drafts, let's see. Last time again, he brought he brought he he brought he brought a baton passing swords dancing, fucking Blaziken, and a toxic croak. That's scary with poison touch. Any like poison touch mons are very scary. I wish. Does Verizian? What's Verizian's? Uh, does Verizian get? Does it get aromatherapy? I want to double check and make sure. Or Heal Bell. Verizian aromatherapy. It's not coming up. Uh, heal, it definitely does not get heal bell. Hmm. We need someone that can heal status. We have no one that can heal status. But you know what? I want to, I want to do this. I want to bring Lipard. Because Prankster. Life Orb. Uh, fake out, knock off, 
Taunt, T-Wave. And this is, this is gonna be strictly for the Blaziken. And you know, why don't we, we'll take it, we'll, we'll put it in the defense. Cause I don't know, something's telling me I should do that. Um, if he brings Mega Latios and runs Draco Meteor on it, we will have a problem. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if uh, let's 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 do some calcs. I want to see if Giratina can live one uh, Draco. The Great Wall. Uh, no, we want. I just press Control again. I'll just do this instead. Two fifty-two, and it was not bold. It was calm. No, it was gentle. It was gentle. Oh, I'm doing this backwards. Mega Ladios. Calm mind, special attack, blah, blah, blah. Timid, Draco Meteor against the Great Wall. I gotta stop pressing uh, control. I gotta stop pressing control. Gentle. Okay, wow, that's actually really good. So, we're looking at 62 at the least, 74% at the most from a Draco Meteor. So, the trick would be, and that's if, and that's if he, if, let's see what happens if he gets plus one. Oh, plus one and it could be over. And that's if he decides to run, um, if he decides to run Calm Mind on the, the Mega Latios anyway. So, I think, yeah, I think we'll be fine. We can still fake out, we can knock off, we can taunt, and uh, we can, Thunder Waving the Latios wouldn't be a bad thing either, just because we could outspeed. So, that'll be awesome. That'll be really great. We'll be able to outspeed with our slow walls here. <coughs> Let's take one last look. Is definitely not gonna be our last look. Let's get. I almost really wanna bring Honchcrow. Something's telling me to bring Honchcrow. You know what? Why don't I bring Godslayer Sinchino? Why don't I bring Godslayer Sinchino? It outspeeds a lot of Pokemon on his team. Godslayer. I like being a troll and running King's Rock on 10% chance. So that, that would be with uh, skill link. That's a 50 50 chance. Okay. We have we have a couple of choices. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run King's Rock because I'm not gonna rely on hacks. Um, we have a thunder waving Lipard. Why would I not rely on hacks? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to test that. I'm gonna have to test that before our battle. But why don't we why don't we run? I don't like the idea of us not being able to change moves.
but, and, we could just outspeed, we, we, we still outspeed everything, so tail slap, bullet seed, oh, whoops, might be, uh, bullet seed, rock blast, and there's one more, right? I'm kind of thinking I want to run, uh, I kind of want to run Aqua Tail on it to take care of Aurorus, Blaziken, Gliscor, Krook, Rhyperior. That'd be nice. Yeah, I think that'll be good. It'll be really good. We're going to run it Jolly just because it is the God Slayer itself. It outspeeds everything. Lipard. I don't know what to call Lipard. We call it Mistress. Mistress. We call it Mistress because shout out to CC's Me, shout out to Competitive Composition, shout out to Little Cup. Okay, and now we're gonna get Nido King. Sheer Force, Choice Scarf, Sludge Wave. Uh, Earth Power for Blaziken, Ice Beam for Gliscor and Latios and Rhyperior, and what else do you get? It gets Dragon Pulse, would you look at that? I almost want to run Dragon Tail on it for phasing. Or T-Bolt, let's... I don't, I actually don't want to think about using T-Bolt because if, I, I can already see the switches. I can already see the switches. Doesn't really have anything that's super weak against fire type, so we don't have to worry about that. I wish it could learn, oh, it can learn Focus Blast. I'm so stupid. That's a gamble. That's a real gamble. And I say that's a gamble because Spirit Tomb. If he brings Spirit Tomb, Spirit Tomb would kind of fuck our whole team. Unless we take care of it properly. Something's really telling me. Something's really telling me. Something's really telling me to use Dragon Tail, and I don't know why. Yeah, that's fine with me. Gusto King. So, how many? That's. We got some mixed mons here. They're all mixed, actually. Or not all, but like, you're mixed, you're mixed. Why was I saying that all of my mods are mixed? But I need someone that can really hit hard on the special side. So who do we have? Who are our options? Our main options are gonna be... I'm a fool, why don't I just use Blastoise? We'll use Mega Blastoise again. Oh. Yeah, let's just use Mega Blastoise again. That's, I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. And we're, we won't run Aura Sphere. I wish that Hydro Pump was boosted by... Let's uh, slap Scald on it for sure. Dragon Pulse, that's what we want to bring. Ooh, do we want to use Dark Pulse too? Do we want to use Dark Pulse too? In case he brings the Starmie. 
We do have a spinner. 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 And I keep repeating that because I'm thinking. That's Gucci with me, this set. <coughs> so the thing is, we take away Defog, but what do we... We could give it Iron Head. We, we could give it Iron Head, uh... Oh, this is gonna... This team is gonna get a lot of hate. Because with, with as much as we're gonna be switching out his opponent's, po or our opponent's Pokemon, they're not gonna be able to set up. And I was thinking, and I say this because I'm thinking of using... I'm thinking of using Tailwind. I'm really thinking about it. You know, why don't we bring Iron Head just in case uh, we run into Togekiss. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with running both. Yeah, I, I'm really... And of course we name it Comex because Comex! Comex! Alright, so here we are, Starscream. Kami, Mistress, we'll make you female. Uh, Godslayer, Gusto King, and Comex. I'm really confident about this team. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be giving it a... I wish I could test it out. I really, I'm gonna probably test it out on some of the other members of the league just to, just to... Oh, but I can't do that because I haven't battled most of you yet. Damn y'all. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video off here. I'm really confident in the team either way. And let me let me know you guys if you have any other suggestions, movesets, abilities, items. Let me know guys. Help out the Agron, show your love. Leave a like for the video one good time if you like this team prep video. Add yourself to the stash of gems if you haven't already. Holy shit, I'm getting really hyped. Thank you guys for tuning in to channel four. I am your host and coach of the Austin Agron, Frosty Cones, representing, getting ready to sign off.